Um, right, well, I've sent the CPS about nine emails now since the weekend. Not one answer. They're not allowed to speak to me. You notice that, how careful they are. They don't say, I'm not allowed to speak to them. Oh, you can write to us and email us. We're not allowed to speak to you, though. On the phone, you know. Um, so there you go, more public servants who are not in the least accountable or responsible to the public. The same old, same old, isn't it? It's been the same all the way. Council, police. But they just they, they just don't give a flying fuck, do they? We're just their little fucking minion cash cows, that's all we are. Anyway, um, <clears throat> you know when you realise the gravitas of a situation, <laughs> when that thing finally hits you and you think, oh fucking hell, yeah, that's right, isn't it? Well, I've touched on this before, because of course when I went to court last year, when I got unlawfully fined, because I was kidnapped from my house, because I hadn't been charged or arrested, so therefore the summons with the chief constable's name on it was unlawful. Um, the CPS bloke was there and he was um, crying on behalf of Chris Green and the Marston's bailiff saying that how upset Chris had been about the video a phone call to Marston Bailiffs and how he'd considered quitting his job and how he felt the life of him and his danger family were in danger. <laughs> well, I touched on this on Facebook the other day because I don't think I've said this on the channel. It's only just occurred to me, of course, that that means they must have watched the whole video. So they know he's a lying bastard. They know he makes sits there and makes shit up, exceeds his authority, goes around arresting people, arresting people, under the Domestic Violence Act for non-payment of council tax. So they know they're standing in court defending someone they know full well to be a liar. But then, of course, <laughs> since the full disclosure, well, sort of full disclosure, came through, we've also found out they deliberately nicked my phone and that PC Harmon is it's confirmed that she is a liar. So, it's not really a surprise, is it? But, they sat there and watched that video. So they know Chris Green is a liar. And they're standing there defending him in court. No! Answers on a postcard, please, CPS. Please explain that one. You know what else? Um, you deliberately withheld um, evidence from me in a criminal investigation because it was four letters I'd never received before last weekend. One was the person to speak to if I wanted full disclosure. Um, another was the court case might not be going ahead in the ninth because uh, PC uh, Lester was on holiday. Um, there was another one about something else, which was quite important. I forget now. Um, so you've d deliberately withheld evidence from me. Um, when when I did get those four letters, they weren't in the section letters to the defendant. No, they were scattered all over the evidence. And we've covered this before because you blatantly tried to hide them. Um, so why are you doing that, Crown Prosecution Service? I mean, what the fuck are you? A clown show? Fucking sideshow at the circus. Fuck's sake. Incredible. So, um, <sighs> defending people they know to be liars and thieves, um, and deliberately withholding evidence and criminal investigation. Obviously, to my detriment, not theirs. My jazz is the same as the police. They lost every single bit of evidence going that made them look bad, miraculously lost. Including a desk sergeant. They lost a desk sergeant. <laughs> They've lost a few, I think, actually, if we're talking about personnel. Quite a few. Um, this is great. I just found out about three years ago. So I think, yes, this is on the channel, I think, when these two called round to my house. I forget their names now. Um, I found out they were later sacked from the police force, these two. Constables, you know. I think they were both PCs. Um, I, th I found out they were later sacked from the police force for being bent. I don't know what they were into. Anyway, they got a job as um, taxi drivers. Don't ask me how I know this. <laughs> <laughs> they got a job as taxi drivers. They've both just been sacked. <laughs> <laughs> for 
being fed. Um, Ogborn, Sunning Ogborn, and there was another one. There's two of them. I, I would have read their names out in some of the paperwork back at the time, but yeah. I think that's a bit of karma, boys. Anyway, I shall see you all later.